Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle VD from CZT Rhea Matheson. This is a nice um, naturey type of tangle. Starts with an orb in the center of wherever you want it. And then just some, you know, sort of, sort of curved lines. Just like put five of them around. Like so. Then, uh, and I did take a little liberty on, on my version of the step out and separated out just because I, I don't know, I needed, I needed it. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, that happens. Uh, so I decided to put a just a little V on the top to get started on the next step. So just a nice V. And you can have it have it point a little more. You can have it tilt off to the side. Or it could be a little curved or whatever. And then from there, a nice, like, jagged line. And this is one of those, it doesn't matter, you know, how it turns out. This is where I... I um, I have to have a have a good talking with myself as I'm doing it. And it's like, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. It's all okay. Because in the end, it always looks amazing. Now, and I have a little, I have a, I have a, I'm thinking, well, that's a little small. Well, we'll have a course correction there um, also. All right. It doesn't have to be this thin. Let's do again this one. I'm right on the edge there, aren't I? Let's see if I can make it a little bit thicker. I seem to like make it a certain. Um, <laughs> no, that's all right. A certain thinness, and that just seems to be where I'm stuck. It's just funny. Just like auraing. Sometimes it's I. Uh, I have this certain range, and that it's like that's it. My I, I have this rut apparently, with some things, and so then it's the work of trying to get out of the rut. <laughs> See if I can make, oh, there we go, with a little bit more flair, pizzazz. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then coming in, you know, towards the center, I mean, just find a place to stop and bring it in, uh, you know, somewhat straight. And like I said, it, as it as you work it, if you're not liking it, just wait till it's done. Wait, trust, trust the process. there and then if you need to shut your eyes for a second and then look back and then you go maybe you will have one of these moments that I have a lot like, oh my gosh who did that <laughs> where's that little zen tangle elf <laughs> that comes in and makes makes what I do look so good <laughs> now here's a here's a course correction idea um, oh no no wait pause I'll come back to that the last step which I almost missed because it was it's so small is on these uh, first lines that we made, just come up with a little angled line, angling towards the end, towards that tip. It doesn't have, they don't have to meet up, of course, probably better if they, uh, if they don't, if they're alternated like so. And then I'm going to extend that a little bit there this I try to just lift like lift off the pen almost like a flick of the wrist type of thing not, not too much because if I get too wild then it'll go, <laughs> it'll go too far but you see then it it, uh, it tapers the um, the ink it, ta it tapers your your little line off and it is nice it makes it a little lighter There we go. Now we're done. Okay, so that's it. And then it's, it's play time, touch up time. So here is where I, it's like, this was a little bit, it was feeling a little small. So if you need to adjust anything on the tip, one idea, um, I'm taking it from the concept of rounding, but it's kind of like rounding from the other direction, sort of. So I, I've extended that tip and I'm just going to fill in a little bit there. 
So we're adding some some weight on the tip. This one I can't do too much because, but I can certainly do some rounding there. Um, but yeah, if you feel like, oh, I, I want to extend that a little bit. I want to I want to add a little curve. Well, then you can. I love that. Love that about Zentango. No mistakes. Course corrections. Oops, let's make that a little bit thicker. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Like that. And then if you, you know, this one I didn't do too bad. A lot of times when I'm meeting things like around an orb like this, it gets a little sloppy. So another something that I end up doing is just kind of going around it a little bit. Could fill it in if you want to. That's always an option. And then for shading, I mean, of course you can go around like the outside if you wanted to. I'm just, I'm putting a little graphite on, on the stems. And, and you know, well, see, so we already did some, some rounding there. You could, if, depending on how thick uh, these are, you could maybe put some on these tips if you wanted to. It could create a bit more of a bend. So if, if mine were a little wider, maybe. They're like that. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more right around the base and bring it out. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Neat tangle. There's one, and I, I actually don't remember if it was from Rhea or not. It's called uh, Jag, and it's 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 similar where you're doing a, a jagged line, like hence the name. Um, and there's just one of those neat things, uh, kind of like this and like vertigo. It's one of those when you see the end result, it's like, oh, I could never draw that. Thinking end result versus entangle and following the steps. And, and that makes everything possible. So neat, neat tangle. If you enjoyed the video, would love to have a thumbs up, a like. Uh, feel free to share it, leave comments. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have uh, you subscribe to the channel. In the description section, you will find a link to my version of the step out, as well as to Rhea's, which includes um, samples. Highly recommend take a look at that. And below that are ways to connect with me. So again, if you if you enjoyed this, uh, would love to have you. Um, oh, if if you enjoyed it and you think, gosh, it might be fun to tangle with other people live, online, um, would love to have you join us. I do classes almost twice a week, and uh, they are listed on my website. At some point, I'm going to have a really nice, convenient looking calendar, so that way it it uh, outlines things better. But suffice it to say, right now, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my days uh, where I do tangling. Thursdays are free. It's called Tangle Time. Uh, and there is one Tuesday that's free. It's called Tough Tangle Tuesday. And then on the other Tuesdays, I have classes that uh, have a fee or, um, or exclusive club classes. So you can also check out my membership club on the website. Uh, so if you know, but come join for free. See if you like not only me. What a beautiful community. We have fun while we're tangling. We incorporate the laughter plus, you know, I always called it the, 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 um, the meditative benefits. I always called it a, the side effect because I wasn't really looking for that, but you really, you, it doesn't matter. You get it. It is a side effect when you're focusing on what you're doing, you will get that relaxation. You'll get, um, I've used it for actually pain relief. Um, uh, you'll get all of that without having to to force it. Uh, it just happens. And so we add the laughter in too. And it just, it's the best of all worlds. So would love to have you join us. Uh, check that out. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment with a question or um, you can contact me through my website. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.